In this world, there exist a select few who can see more. Telekinesis, mind reading, projection, mind clairvoyance. These are their stories. Psychic stories. What was that? When you's in the woods, you don't yell. You speak the language of the woods, all silent and wind-like, hear? Yeah, wind-like. What was that, though? Hundred-pounder, at least. <laughs> yeah, at least. It is a hundred pounds big for a deer? Some would say it's the perfect weight for a deer. Well, shit. Well, go get him. Me? But it's my first time. Yip, yip. Yip, yip. What I didn't tell Carl was these woods could turn on you. He will soon learn that one must conquer the inner workings of one's own soul before one can snuff out the light of another one. You're back. Yes. Oh, I, I didn't hear you shoot. What happened? It spit at me. The, the deer spit at you? Yep. He seemed like he was kind of in the middle of something, so I just let him alone. It ain't about feeling welcome, Carl. It's about killing the thing. So, so get back in there. Right. Right. Yep, yep. I begin to compare fidelity to a pine cone, though its scent doth travel unhinged. Wait, what am I talking about? What's that noise? Why is it so loud and cumbersome? Oh, where's your hat? Hmm? Where's your... Never mind. Did you see the deer? Well, I went in, and I took aim at the deer, and then... Well, then he started teasing me about my hat. It, he said it was a stupid hat, and that I'm, I must be pretty stupid to be wearing such a stupid hat. God damn it, Carl. I'm gonna have to go do this myself. No, don't. There is no reasoning with him. He snuck up behind me and gave me this. Is that an Indian rug burn? <laughs> <laughs>